Put it all there. Oh. That's so disgusting. <laughs> yeah, it's a constant. It sounds like, like you're saying it out of your diarrhea ass. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to converse it with people and then I would just, my mind would totally lose track because I'd spotted some dental hair. Just <laughs> <laughs> catch my c**k on a post-it note. Aye, I'm stop. <laughs> but uh, yeah, if you see like a, a hot, cute guy playing acoustic guitar and he gives it one of these the odd time. Yeah. People get into it. Yeah. But if you have some heap of shit up there doing that, people are like, this guy's fucking out of his mind. Two things you would say to my law, someone's nice or someone's good looking. Aye. Uh, yeah. You don't know anybody. I'll be like, geez, she's a lovely looking girl. And you think, like this here the next day, fucking uh, throw a bucket of water over top of her. <laughs> See what she looks like. <laughs> Give us it one more time. But he does it kind of like sheepish. He's like, Rick James. Bitch. I think this is where the phrase set where your jazz came out of because if you notice, he does he would bitch like that. <laughs> yeah, and he does he does the wee he does the wee hand like bitch. I was I'm Rick James. Bitch. <laughs> bitch. There so is good. something so pimp about not going like, I'm Rick James, bitch. Yeah. He does it like, I'm Rick James, bitch. Yeah, you know, like, <laughs> it's like mystical. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> I love these singers who, you know, like, singing away and then just can't talk. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Rick James, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> What's that girl backstage? I don't know, he's Rick James, bitch. But nobody told you who I thought I was. I'm Rick James, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> who did they tell her you are, you know? Yeah. <laughs> That's Whoopi Goldberg. I'm Rick James, bitch. Guys, if you enjoy this podcast, there's plenty more where that fucking came from. Head on over to patreon.com forward slash bomb squad pod. There's 33 bonus episodes up there. Live podcasts, extra podcasts, Q&As. You'd never get through it. Anyway, welcome to the show. Yeah. Episode 33. Yeah. Find that button again. Lost it. Yeah. Or for our Mexican listeners, that is 33. 33. Would it be Mexican? Down south. All oh, right. Not actual Mexican? <laughs> yeah, it's a slow burn. That one. What's 33 in, in Spanish? Catra. <laughs> <laughs> Cat dog? What did you say? That's a cat dog. Retard. <laughs> uh, now we're here. Um, you were t- Is it a full moon? You were talking about people acting strange about full moons. Yeah, I was in a bar that was just mainly old dudes, which I find now is where I should be. You know, the yeah. days of the night clubbing's over. I should be in a bar where I'm the youngest there by 40 years. That's how I have a good time. They're like, well, cub. And you're like, 30? Yeah. Yeah. I'm the only non-regular in there. Do, do you feel like you catch the old man disease, though? 100%. You're you know, you, you start to... I remember going to Arbo one time. Nice. And going, going to this local... It was for some event, someone's birthday or something. And just there was like... 18 year old lads that were already 65. Oh, yeah. They were like hunched over with a Scania jacket on, pound of Guinness, we have them. Just yapping. It happens like fucking cheerful, pleasure diesel. Yeah, some of my nephews who are like nine are like that. Aye. Right. You know, they come in and they're, they're like always leaning on something. Aye. Right. Just, <laughs> you know, <laughs> just sinking a pound of Yazoo. Ah, <laughs> well, fuck it. I've been waiting all day for that. <laughs> But I saw Paul was there who was like, she was probably the youngest there bar me. She was maybe in her 40s. And uh, I don't know what the relation was to this group of men she was with, but they were all like 80 something. And she was like, I know there's definitely a full moon or something about it. I've had me act my strange. And then I saw the bike goes, I love half and do the same to me now. <laughs> Just like, like he was swirling a fucking brandy as well, and just like saying that, and that's, I just think it's so funny. That's his voice for everything. Yeah, you know? it all there. Oh. <laughs> that's so disgusting. Yeah, yeah it's it constantly it sounds like, like you're saying it out of your diarrhea ass. Yeah, <laughs> it's like alien. Yeah, you know, <laughs> you fucking hello, air floods. <laughs> Well, Earthlings, well, Earthlings, where's your nearest water in a wall? <laughs> What's a crack, lad? <laughs> Any all crack? Put up there, Mars. I'm looking to get the UFO lowered. 
<laughs> but you've landed in yeah Mexico, don't mark. Yeah. Catros. <laughs> you heard ultimate fucking uh, small town uh, small talk this morning. Oh yeah. <laughs> 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 we were going to our usual place on the way down to the podcast, uh, we Centra, and uh, we called in and we, we were walking past the deli and we lost each other in the sea of people. And uh, as you went round, I was coming around the other side and I heard some doll chatting to the doll at the deli and she was like, well, how's the tooth anyway? <laughs> <laughs> Slow day at the deli. How's that tooth? Still stinking, is it? Uh, what, what happened said tooth that, you know, it's became a... A repeating topic of conversation for this woman. It happens. It must be black. What? Black. The, the tooth. Oh. You ever seen an old dead tooth? Uh, Just hanging in someone's mouth? Yeah. Like an old dead skittle? Yeah. This right. one should be dead. I was in the dentist twice last week. That fucking you bastard. Here, your dentist. Thank God you brought that up. I forgot about this. Your de- His dentist. I took him on a wee day out. I, I, was, like, I, was, I, I was like, you want to see how the other half live? I took him into a private dentist. Scientology center. Hundred <laughs> percent. They're all walking about and like, what do you even call them as like outfits? Yeah, it's like something you would put on before you take a suicide pill and die. In heaven's a, in a cult, vibes. In a cult, yeah. It was heaven's gate vibes. Crisp, Nobody blinked. Crispy clean, <laughs> perfect teeth, crispy clean shoes. The little purple fucking like taekwondo suit that they wear to de- do dentistry. Yeah. But I was in there getting buzzed away. I could hear this man outside. I was like, he started a fucking chat show. Oh, I, was, the I was lapping up my ass, chatting to everyone, you know, give, giving out finger guns to everybody. How are you getting on today? Yeah. You know? Uh, it, it was enjoyable now. Any sales pitches? No lollies for fuck all. Fuming. <laughs> they were like, you've had enough lollies, kid. What are you... <laughs> Some guy actually did. One of the dentists did talk to me about vaping and how dangerous it is for teeth. Mm-hmm. You know? And I was like, I know, but you need something. <laughs> did someone fart there? No? No? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> is it the sound of the smells getting you? No, it was the sound. I just oh. heard a <laughs> Probably you. Yeah, probably me. No, and you're loose, Callum, at the back. <laughs> That's an unrest. <laughs> Do not disturb. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I was getting my fucking teeth done, and I could just hear him fucking. You know, you know, Aaron Small talk. I was like, well, yeah, up to anything fun today. Yeah. The dentist who's working the six. That's me warming them up. I had them with a real existential question. They weren't expecting to hear at four o'clock on a Wednesday. Yeah. Is it fun the teeth are the thing that we, we recognize each yeah. other by once we. Perish in a plane crash. Man, smiling is like silent laughter when you think about it. <laughs> yeah. You can't you're like you can't put a price on laughter and they're like, yes we can. Yeah. It's three hundred and fifty pound a tooth. Maybe that's where your doll should go. The oh, old tooth sort of. Oh I uh, Centra tooth. Centra tooth. <laughs> Welcome to Centra Tooth. Pick from any of these teeth in the buffet. <laughs> what teeth would you like? So that that uh, electric toothbrush I have now. I'm starting, I'm like Googling about it and being like, is this a pile of shit? Because it really doesn't feel like it's kind of my teeth. Yeah, it it will work if you take, if you really take your time, but no one has time for that shit. Yeah, it's You're not, You don't have like nine minutes to do your goddamn fucking teeth. I saw you brush your teeth in the car, cheating bastard. And uh, what? Before the dentist. That's what you do? Nah, it's cheating. Why? Would, what? Is that not standard practice? Brush your teeth before you go in the dentist? Yeah. You're good I'll, technique. I wasn't coming from home. I was uh, I was coming from here to the, in the car. I will say it. I don't know if this is a weird observation. Never seen toothpaste foam here. You spat it out. It was like marshmallow paste. <laughs> Whatever kind of swear you did up there. I just got a good vibe. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking going for it, you know. It was good. It was good technique. Black level brushing. And then I had nowhere to spit it, and I had to spit it in the coffee cup, and you nearly yacked out the door. <laughs> Well, no, it wasn't because you were spitting. It's because the way you spat it was like a fucking... I did ham it up. Pornhub thumbnail. Uh, 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 yeah, hammed it up a bit for him. It was that... Uh, uh, <laughs> big stringy bit coming out. That is fun, though. Yeah. I, I know why it's fun. Black Mirror vibes. Hotties in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's a few kicking about. A few kicking about. You know, me and you were chatting to each other. A few would walk past and both of us just went dead air for a couple of seconds. Oh, yeah. I was sitting in there. Oh, yeah. Anyway, you doing anything fun today? You know, when I, I was trying to conversate with people and then I would just, my mind would totally lose track because I'd spotted some dental hair. <laughs> <laughs> They're beautiful young princesses. I'll never be able to go back because they, they <laughs> I, I can't man- mention anything about that dentist. Yeah. They're fucking, they're on to me. I can't though. <laughs> you can't, yeah. yeah I can't. Your friend Aaron's a cheeky bastard. I can only play with these now. It's I'll me. come out next time like fucking. It's we joke, joke podcast like, like Ken Dodd. Yeah, I'll fucking get you back. Genuinely, they were very nice people. Anyone I spoke to in there, very nice human being. No, it is. It is. A, 
like I don't, you know, no one likes the dentist, but it does feel nice going in there, you know. Yeah. It does feel nice. Uh, didn't expect to be in there for fucking as long as I was now. Yeah. So apologies for that. Been there for a minute, getting them fang sod. And you know, this is this is how I this is how I treat my body. We went straight from there to Lee Garden. Yes. Ding 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 ding. If I hear this line one more time, uh, you're not as three main. <laughs> yes, bitch. <laughs> I know it's three mains. I said what I said. Yeah, yeah. Get asked to the lotter. I'm the one who speaks properly in here. I know what I said. I'm the only <laughs> white guy in here using chopsticks. Yeah. <laughs> it is a bollocks they noodles with no chopsticks, though, once you get used to it. Oh, yeah. You know, you're all fucking stuck. You can't be using a fork to it like carbonara, you yeah. know? Mm. You, gotta, you gotta go all in. You, yeah, so that's... Part of the experience. So that's three mains. Yeah. <laughs> And a share platter for two to start. Uh, correct. Just to wet the whistle. Yeah, get that seaweed in you. <laughs> the all seaweed, bro. Lay the foundation. <laughs> the seaweed is good. Crispy seaweed, I don't know. See, crispy greens. I couldn't eat a green to save myself, but if it's crispy. If it's deep fried. Big end it. If it's deep fried. See, crispy it. kale. <laughs> Root. <laughs> Leaf. <laughs> I went like this here. I was like, what's that there? And you went chicken. I ate it and it was 100% pork, but. Nah, I was checking. Nah, that was cluck cluck. <laughs> this boy was oink oink. <laughs> it reeked of oink. That was not cluck. Nah, man, I was clucking. <laughs> but I don't, I don't even know if their cluck is cluck, you know. Yeah, it's meow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Get to the chopper. What noise, what noise does a pigeon make? <laughs> <laughs> it's more, uh, ah! No, it's not even seagull. That's more pterodactyl. What does a seagull do? I don't give a fuck what it is. It's delicious. <laughs> Covered in that sticky sauce. Yeah. She don't know what you're eating. I don't give a fuck. And anything. I don't. Who cares? I don't give a shit. Really, to be honest, you bought it, like if you were on fucking I'm a Celebrity, mm. and then we're like, because it's always raw, isn't it? Or they just poach it. They're like, don't eat this pig uterus. And you're yeah. like, what's it in? Aye. Cantonese style or what? Yeah, teriyaki. <laughs> teriyaki uterus. <laughs> what am I saying? Get the bub. <laughs> Black bean valve, is it? I'm not eating it raw. I'm not an animal. Oh, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> do you think you could do those stinking challenges? Because I did one of them in Big Brother the other day too. Uh, I mean, you would, if you've made it the whole way to Australia to be an I'm a celebrity, mm -hmm. and they're like, you can win yourself some food. Is there anything though that would like really activate your gag reflex? <laughs> Don't say <that. laughs> A delicious cock. Yeah. Yeah. This is a bull penis. Oh, oh, oh. Just eat it, Colin. Oh. Hey, I tell you, I still can't get over the size of a rhino's looter. There's no way you're eating that. <laughs> and no, no. Fella carrying it over like it's a dead body. <laughs> just slaps it on the table. But I was learning that would activate it for you. Like, I think you're just like, I could not I I mean, consume it, that. It has to be something that that bursts in your mouth like you know what i mean like if you eat a eat a fucking goat's eyeball it just goes and you you know that would make you barf see that's what used to put me off mushrooms whenever i was younger big fan of the mushrooms now but whenever i was younger the, the bursty sensation yeah you know you'd bite down you'd feel liquid splash around your teeth but again that's an old shit mushroom Aye. that's an old fucking i got a mushroom the other day in a breakfast place mm -hmm. and they'd you know the big one they'd roasted it down a wee bit of garlic and parmesan on the top that's 10 out of 10. No, but that's like me with the fries. Not quite. You're saying that's the nicest mushroom I've ever had. Not quite. put half a block of cheese in Not it. quite. <laughs> this mushroom is basically seasoned. Mm -hmm. What you had <laughs> was like fucking Elvis's dog bone. <laughs> and, you, and you were like, they're the nicest chips I've ever had. That was bon appetit. <laughs> it really was. It was bon appetit. <laughs> uh, I had two burgers in one day in Galway. Nice. <laughs> Success. Losing weight. Lose a muscle mass from atrophy. <laughs> That'll be me. I'm down three stone. Have to help me out of the seat. No legs left. Felt like a to toffee apple. How was Galway? It was good. Burgers were good. Uh, uh, I opened at the John Bishop gig. Died on my ass. Mm -hmm. Died. Died, died, died. Two burgers and a bag of cock. Walked out. Two, <laughs> two 15 year olds in the front row. I was like, what age you boys? He said 15. I was like, Jesus, give me Schofield vibes. <laughs> Which was, you know, one of them ones where I'm like, I meant it to be like, I feel a bit inappropriate because mm -hmm. I'm about to do some bad material in front of these children. Yes. But I think they took it as, 
oh, you're getting a bit Schofield because you've seen the 15 year old boys. Yeah. There's butterflies on stage as well. I don't know. That was, it was like a fucking fever dream. There's three butterflies on the stage. That's and kept, weird. And they kept flying about. And all and one landed on the floor beside me, and I was like, I, just, I want nothing more than to stamp on this, but I can't do it in front of a thousand people. Yeah. You know? So I just had to let it float about me as I told fucking horrific jokes to ch- children. If you killed a butterfly on stage opening for John Bishop, that, you know, that's a story in itself, I feel like. And I, I died in a hole for about 12 minutes, and one of them flew up past my face, and I went, oh, that's my soul leaving my body. <laughs> all the comedians laughed. Did you say that? Yeah, yeah that's great. No one else laughed. Yeah. That's the sort of room I was in. Yeah. Uh, but then I told you about Barry Murphy. He was giving me big props. Yeah. Yeah, I came off and he goes, this is literally what he said to me. He goes, I can't believe you're up there working in front of these, like having to do actual work in front of these Galway kids. <laughs> he goes, you're one of the best comedians I've ever seen. As we said. Now, I don't know if he says that to everyone, all the young cubs coming up, but I was just at the side of stage crying. Thanks, man. I was a rough dad. I probably get in the back of the neck. <laughs> you know? Now, here's the thing, though. Did you die for your standards or did you objectively die? Because those are two different things. It well, you know what I mean. It, I was getting laughs. Yeah, that's you know so so like it was very obvious when I did a bit that was like kind of sort of not non dodgy. Mm-hmm. You know, like I would do a wee bit slagging myself off and you know talking about Eddie or whatever. They were getting laughs because that's kind of you know universal type comedy. Yes, but anytime you wandered into something a bit edgy, they were yes. like, oh, ow. yeah. You know, it wasn't like wall to wall silence. Yeah, but it certainly was work. Yeah, and I came off and I was like, "Fuck that!" And then I was depressed. And then I went to the Roisin Dove for the Late Show, where they put me on last. So I had to go on after Rich Hall. Uh, who else was on? Rich Hall. Elliot was down, wasn't it? Elliot State, Sean Walsh, John Caleri, Elliot, and then me. <clears throat> That's such a weird but great lineup. Yeah, but here redemption, bro. Yeah. Got up there at quarter to one in the morning. The big man's back! The pedo jokes work better at quarter to, mo- <laughs> quarter to one in the morning. Don't they go away, you fucking bitches! <laughs> you know what I mean? That was great. I, 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 I don't know why this happened to me. <clears throat> I was stinking when I was down there. What do you mean? I just, I, I got in, th- I didn't have much time in the hotel, threw my bag in, got showered, changed into my new clothes and left and mm-hmm. did my first gig and came off and I was like, who's, I was like, whose jumper is this? Yeah, you stunk. I stank, man. Yeah. Couldn't get rid of it. Stank all night. What kind of aura did you have hanging off you? Stinking. Aye. It's probably the two burgers sweating it out of my pits. Aye, meat sweats I get you like. But I was just, uh, yeah, you know, I'd like to, and, and I'd love to you to tell me if I was stinking. I don't think I'm a smelly guy. No, you're not. But I was stinking. No. I was like, what the fuck is that's one of your biggest fears, isn't it? Yeah, I think yeah. so. But I was like, did I did I wear like, did I wear this jumper, and then hang it up by accident or something? Mm-hmm. Smelly guy. Yeah, Smelly. there's nothing worse than whenever you catch yourself stinking, you know. And then you're running about in your self con. I actually had that in the vape shop the other day. It was a Sunday. I was reeking, and uh, Porter reeking. Yeah, I was. <laughs> I didn't have time to shower that day, and I just went straight down. Me out of the gym, and then. Uh, Fucking, I threw on like my hoodie because I was like, I'll cover it up. Yeah, but a cotton cover up the rake, but will cover it up being in a vape shop. No, no, no. Like, no, this oh. was overpowering the mist yeah. of mixed berries. People walking in, being like, Someone vaping onions in here. <laughs> Fuck's going on. Oh my god, <laughs> I stopped at a fucking uh. <laughs> I went past all the apple greens. I was like, I'm not going to apple greens, I'll just buy, a, I'll eat a load of shit. And I kept driving, and I kept driving, and I was uh, at one point I was like legit starving. I was like I haven't really eaten anything all day. A couple of coffees. I was like I, you know, probably should stop in the middle of a four-hour drive. Pulled into like one of those Circle K's, mm-hmm. and there was a McDonald's. Oh, uh, this is the two burger day. And I was like, I'll just go get a fucking, I'll just go get a burger. You have the Philly cheese stack? No, I had a double quarter pounder. No, nice. no, nay chips. Safe. Nay chips, lad. No spuds. No spuds, but it was standing in the, you know, it's the wee fucking machine. <laughs> and before this, I went for a piss, so I went in the toilet. All the toilets were cordoned off. Two of the urinals were cordoned off. Yeah. And I'm just waiting behind this fucking, like, 12-year-old for a pish. And then he fucked off, and then I took a pish. So all the toilets were more or less closed. Yeah. And then I went out to the McDonald's machine, and I, ty- <laughs> I typed my thing in, got my wee number, and I was waiting. 
and everyone was like looking at the machine and it was busy enough like and i just looked across and a, a guy left the toilets uh like a like a caretaker type guy mm -hmm. with a bucket full of shite <laughs> with a fucking <laughs> with a plunger hanging out of it and he didn't even try and cover it up or anything and he walked but no no one really seen him he just looked like he worked there and i i, I sort of looked and went oh my god and he just quickly walked through everybody and I, uh, the pause was tremendous there was about a 12 second pause people are like ordering burgers and then everyone was just like what the fuck is that smell <laughs> oh my god but i was just like <laughs> Like he would, didn't try and cover it up. There isn't like a back door out of the place. He just walked through the crowds with a bucket of shit. Man, that's a nuclear weapon, especially like you know if you're gonna gather a bucket of shit at any location, Apple Greens might be one of the worst. Oh my god! You got them truck drivers going in there and just dropping piles. <laughs> oh yeah, right in the bogs. Like sure. Did I talk about this last week? Mehol tell me Mehol from Lavery's tell me about having the shits at a festival. Oh my! And he's the wateriest hole in Ireland. We we the. <laughs> He does, like I do. He was, he was eating chips and he just went <laughs> And I went, do you shave your asshole? He goes, I do, I. And I went, it definitely sounds like you shave your asshole. But then he was, did he, were you there when he was telling the story about shit in the portally? Yes. And he had to do it in the dark and he didn't want to put his arse in the seat and he just fucking blasted gravy all of it. And then he said, he, he goes, I turned around. And he goes, not one bit of it was in the toilet. Yeah, he's shitting the water. And I, and I was like, you're the guy. You're the guy that when you open a portal and you're like, who the fuck shit up the back of the wall? It was me all. It's him. Just a gallon of peppered sauce launched against the wall. <laughs> oh, great, lad. Man needs to know I'm peppered sauce. Yeah, <laughs> just grease them pipes Just up. fueled by pep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. But I had a bucket of shit. I love, by the way, how I said, oh, I, I like smelled on Sunday and you're like, that reminded you in your brain of a story that involved an actual bucket of shit. Yeah. <laughs> Because I was going to try and write something about about it, like, in, you know, do a wee bit about That's on, definitely on, a bit. On stage or something, but it was just the, you know, just to, like, keep looking forward, and he just walked clean through the crowd, and then just a perfect length of pause before everyone was just like, <laughs> I don't like those McDonald's machines. I think you need the shame of ordering to a person. Aye, because you can just be like, aye, stick more bacon on there. Yeah. Large. You get too sneaky. Five nuggets. You ever one of them things steaming drunk? Oh, it's like a pick and mix. What I would like to try, though, I did see somebody, um, apparently if you get a filet of fish mm. and you put bacon on it, apparently it's unreal. Bacon and fish? Mm. I'd do it, like. Makes sense. Yeah, it does. You know you get an old sea bass wrapped in fucking prosciutto? <laughs> Don't you? It's the same. I'm not a warm fish guy, though. <laughs> I like a coil. <laughs> I like a coil fish. <laughs> do you get a fish supper and just wait an hour? <laughs> It's just like, no, that, that's one I could do. Like, I like a fish supper, but like, see, like, smoked salmon. It actually, I can't even think about it. Yeah. It turns me. Just fucking cock, mate. Just give it Sliced. Kyle. Kyle, it's no bar. Is he a wee poke bowl or something? Uh, Good gear. But where are you getting a poke bowl in Oma? You're not getting a poke bowl in Oma. <laughs> you're not getting it. You ask for a poke bowl in Oma, you might have to leave the town. <laughs> just ice cream in a bowl. Imagine, imagine, right, when you get to that age of that old boy. But like your, you know, your pal is a wee bit more sort of expansive. So you're like, yeah, that's an old pokey boy there. That'll be you. Yeah. Is any uh, soup broths going? Hey, 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 2038. Oh my god, that'll be a utopian future. When Oma get Pokeballs, that's when we know we've progressed. You'll move back. You'll move yeah. back from New York. Yeah. Be a real New York Straight guy. for the Poke. Unreal. You Spe don't want that shit, Oma. Keep it at home. No, no. That's what I say. No, no, you want the good for You want them to fucking. You know, Chips, peas, and stuffing. You want, yeah, you want them to be visibly disgusted when you ask for spinach. Yeah. I got one time. <laughs> or the time I asked for a cappuccino. Aye. What? She was like, so I'm milky coffee, man. Where I'm, where I'm a fucking Malone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have a funny video to show you. So, uh. Great! This is, uh, Dom went to wait us yeah. in Castle Derg, which sounds AI uh, generated. And, yeah. uh, he said it was a lovely time. Dom is a big Halloween man, mm. you know? And he was on the phone All with those me. tattoo boys are. They love Halloween. It's their time to shine. They're spooky. Spooky guys. And, uh, he called me up when he was a bit of a panic. And he's like, I've, you know, I go out for Halloween. I put a lot of effort into the outfit. So was my girlfriend, Ash. You know, do you think people will be dressed up? And I was like, Dom, it's it's Saturday, Halloween weekend. People yeah. are bound to bound be dressed to be. up. Like. 
Well, wait till you see this video that he sent me, and fuck me, I nearly burst a kidney laughing at it. <laughs> so this is the townhouse in the dark, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's like one of those pranks when it's you know people are going to like a black tie dinner and they tell their mate it's fancy dress he's sitting there like a smurf <laughs> you got a weird look there if you weren't wearing a gilet yeah. never mind a full color clown out of it i know wearing white trainers you get slagged <laughs> we were in galway there and met, met up with mickey for a minute and there was obviously everyone was dressed up for halloween a couple of oh man, you know what i mean turbo slots but oh, uh, yes. <clears throat> we were walking along and there was a sort of pro-Palestine, uh, what do you call that? Protest mm -hmm. thing. A few guys in the street with the Palestine flags. But right beside them for no reason at all was just like four guys in those blow up, uh, you know, fucking <laughs> T-Rex suits. And I, we were walking. I was like, geez, there's a protest there. And then there was like the four dinosaurs behind it. And I went, fucking Islamic Park. And then, <laughs> and then Mickey goes, what he said was like, yeah, Hasamic Park. <laughs> Wait, were these men in the T-Rex outfits, were they passing by? Were I hope they so. I hope, I hope so. I hope they weren't, like, like involved in it. <laughs> it's great times. Speaking of costumes, uh, I, you know what I watched last night now? What? Eyes Wide Shut. Oh, uh. Have you seen that? The Bill Cosby biopic? <laughs> <laughs> Near enough. <laughs> what is it? Was it is Stanley Kubrick's last movie? Right. And, uh, what do you call him? Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman are in it. Mm -hmm. And I don't know really. It, I mean, it's notoriously weird film yeah. that doesn't really have a good ending because he died, basically. But it's, it's you know, like... Some, I mean, it's it's the famous one where he just he turns up at some weird cultish elite party mm -hmm. and everyone's doing weird fucking sex ceremonies. And, nice. But it is... Have you seen it now? Yeah, I watched it years ago. It is funny, like, when he's walking through and there's guys like... <laughs> You know, with a mask on, like dramatically bucking girls, and that's fucking great. But I, the whole film's the whole film's bizarre because I don't really, uh, you know, it basically is like Nicole. Kid I mean, the whole movie should just be like your wife's nuts, bro. Mm -hmm. You know, because she's she's telling him like I keep having this fantasy about this fucking soldier or something, but she keeps bringing it up over and over again. He yeah. has to just sit there and be like, "Isn't that nice?" And she's like, or you know, he come in late one night and she's like sleeping and she's asleep, but she's going like. <laughs> And then she wakes up in a shock. And instead of going, oh, I was dreaming about something else, she's like, yeah, I dreamt that I was just like naked in a forest. And this soldier that I told you, remember the soldier I told you about before? He's fucked the life out of me. And he's just sitting there like, yeah. Uh, Women do that, though. That's pretty cool. You know? But then he talks to a mate. He goes to some party. And a mate, an old mate of his from medical school mm -hmm. is playing piano. And he gets mm -hmm. chatting to him. And he's like, yeah, I do this now. And I do like these private parties where they fucking blindfold me and make me play the piano. And he goes, oh, you got to fucking... He basically goes, you know, but the blindfold wasn't on too tight one night and I seen their antics and he's like, he's he's down to get revenge on the wife. Like mm. he's like, well, she's having <laughs> fantasies about other guys. Let me bust some nuts here. Yes. And uh, he gets the password for the party off the guy and goes to the party and he gets found out and all. But it's very, it's very weird. Would you go to a sex party? Sex I mean, party? this was beyond, I spot everywhere there, I'm salivating. This is beyond the sex party. This was like, you know, satanic type shit. Yeah. But you know that scene when he first walks in, there's like a circle of women. Yeah. They just they have like twelve perfect fucking Russian models or something. Mm -hmm. And Maury sitting watching it. Maury's like eating a bag of minstrels. She goes, I've had a chippy on a bag of minstrels. Now I feel even worse. <laughs> just at these fucking like perky titted fucking like, perfect Victoria's Secret models in a circle. Yeah. But I would I would have liked to see them ham that up a wee bit where you know, like it was like a real billionaire's party where they do have the perfect imported models. Yeah. And then just some fat, you know. Well, a billionaire's party, they're all 14. Yeah, well, the yeah. mask's on, so we used to, used to know. <laughs> but the movie's fucking, it's so weird, like, isn't it? It's so fucking weird. Billionaires need to give their money to charity or something. They need, no, not, I'm but not. But they do, that's how they make themselves feel better. But I'm not this person that's like, we shouldn't have billionaires and all out there. I just think that if you're a billionaire, you will inevitably cook the goose. These ones are either riding wins or they're going to the Titanic. You know, just get down to a normal budget you know you don't need all this because they've experienced everything you shouldn't yeah. experience everything yeah you know you should get wee snippets of the good life not everyone life. not everyone's joe rogan yeah not everyone's like i'm loaded but i'm you know i'm grounded 
Yes. I like to do workouts. You got to stay grounded. You would get, uh, you'd lose a run of yourself, right? Like, I would. If I had a hundred grand, I'd fucking lose a run of myself. If I wanted the cool FM cash call, but when it'd be over. Aye, but we, uh, you think that though? But you, uh, the way Dead you, the way you work, you'd rip through it. Oh, why? But on silly, silly stuff. Yeah, you but know? these boys are post wealth. Yeah, they have all the money in the world, so they're like, listen, money and material things don't do it for me. I'm into par. Ugh. And experiences. No. Yeah, no, why, par, why, no par. Why? Why would you want par? It's stressful. I mean, I was watching that, and I was just thinking, like, who has the cardio to be fucking with like a mask on? Yeah, must be. When you make exciting. Yeah, I would need. I would have to have one of those ones where it's an elastic band around the back because the sweat be pouring off me if it was a full mask. Oh, I'd be drilling out of it and all. And fucking, you know, you just smell the last thing yet inside that. Are they like them American <laughs> mascot heads? Is that what they're wearing? No, they're they're more like masquerade. So some of them are quite spooky. You know, like the one with the big fucking crow's nose. No, I don't like that. That's a lot of fucking. No. That's a lot of headwear to be trying to. Like you got the, you got the Russian imported. You know, perfect model. Mm. Yeah, and she takes you in the next room. Would you like to go next door with me? And you're like, Oh, hang on a second. Where are, where are you? Thank you. Uh, happy day. She's next door. You know? yeah. It's like sensory deprivation. No, fuck that. You can feel it, you know? The plague crow mask, too, that would get me soft. That would definitely get me soft. The what? The, that fucking plague crow mask you were describing uh, the there. The big long yeah. nose. No, thanks. Yeah. No yeah. thanks. Yeah. I wouldn't do well at the sex party. No. I'd be too anxious. I, that, the mask I'd wear would have to be like, you know, like a hazmat. Like, just you can see everything through it. Mm. And she's got the bit over your face. Yeah. But you, all you would see is my eyes through it. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. There, in fact, Tom Cruise's mask and eyes wide shut's funny because it has a mouth. So you can see his eyes reacting to all the fucking perky tits. Yeah. But then the wee mouse is like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck. There'd be a lot of that from the day behind the mask if I was there. Jesus Christ! <laughs> you shit, man! I'd probably walk. I'd probably walk a minute. No buffet! <laughs> no buffet! No fucking shit all! Fuck shit! He's millionaire, shit! <laughs> I'd just. If you, I'd, fucking, I'd ruin the crack completely. If I knew I was going to an elite sex party, I'd just burst, burst in the door <laughs> hard on already. <laughs> <laughs> behind, you make an entrance? behind the cape. Well, man. Yeah. No, no, no fucking expression at all. Well, nice. I talk, I talk. You want to get in and out. You want to bust through the doors, cock throbbing. Yeah. Drip, immediately pick drip, someone. Dripping. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Russian model number 14. Uh, he's all look the same with a mask Aye. on. Come on, Ryan. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> I'm in and out. Uh, he's right. You don't want to be hanging about. You no. Know, you don't want to be having like fucking post bus talk at the sex party. Well, that's what happened. They go in, they do the sex ceremony, everyone's fucking, and then after that, they were just having like a dinner, like a dinner dance. Ugh. Boring. Shame. They've done it the wrong way around. Yeah. Buffet, wee bit of dancing. Brush your teeth. Like yeah, like a, the dentist. Like any wedding. <laughs> yeah, and then the Boston. <laughs> yeah. These boys were getting the Boston out of the way up top. Yeah. Do people ride in their wedding night? Like the bride and the groom? I mean, there's a, you know, so you're supposed to, but, but it just most seems, people are just fucking wrecked. Yeah, it just seems so stressful because you've had all that day where you're trying to, you know, float around and mingle with everybody and make sure everyone feels appreciated that you that they came and, you know. <laughs> but th things are different nowadays. People are together for like 12 years and then they get married. Yeah. And then you're fucking shattered. Yeah. You're just like, well, see you tomorrow anyway. <laughs> it used to be you'd be like, you know, staying a virgin until you get married. That's why they used to leave like midway through the dinner. Yeah. You know, the groom's getting one last mouthful of fucking tiramisu. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> wait a fucking... Tiramisu, you later. Uh, I'm, I'm waiting at my dick's up. Wait a clap some cheeks, anyway. By the woman? Uh, good to see you, anyway. Take care. Make sure granny gets home there. Uh, I'm waiting to bust. The door, the door of the limo barely closes. <laughs> Just get it out of the road. But now, now people are... <laughs> Now people are together forever before they even can afford to get married, so they're just like, I couldn't be fucked. Do you want, do you want chips in bed and a dress? A limo might be the only vehicle that I'd be able to have sex in. Yeah. Not because I'm bougie, because I'm fat. <laughs> <laughs> Put that wee window up. Getting the driver to play pitbull or something. Yeah, yeah. it would be one of them real fucking cheesy limos. Oh, know? yeah. Like a pink, pink, a pink yeah. Hummer. Yeah. And you're a big pink Hummer out the front. Yeah, every time you see a pink Hummer full of a hand do, that is basically a terrorist group. Like, those women are going to wreck carnage whenever city they're yeah. in for two days. Hide your, hide your cocks. I have to organize a uh, fucking stag do next year, and I'm kind of nervous about it. 
Well, I don't really. You know, if it was my stag do, <laughs> like all I want is just two days on the rip with the boys. Mm -hmm. I don't want any day activities. No. These these day activity things are, you know, I I don't know about them. If if you know if people are going like, you know what them fellas are like, you know what they're up to, just live up to it. Yeah. Just go just go to Amsterdam. Just have the filthiest weekend of all time. Yeah. And then tell them you're a paintball. Yeah. <laughs> but that woman sees them with the hand activities I've seen. Oh. Pigs. I know, yeah. I would say I would say women are worse than fellas on the on their last that's the last cock you'll ever see. Well, they try and like artsy it up. So they'll do like, you know, I remember seeing one where it was like they were doing like a drawn. Why do you get really serious though? Of a. I saw. I <coughs> one time I witnessed a. But yeah, the other It was a man with like full looter and they were yeah, drawn it. I've seen that. And teeing about it. I actually seen a girl uploaded that on Facebook and I didn't even know the girl, like, but she just uploaded it like it was a wee album from a night out. And this fucking. And I mean, absolutely just a fella. You know, not like a big fucking yoked out, you know, nude model. But did he have a pace? I mean, he had a pace. He, you know, he was a male human. Yeah. You got to have a pace if you're doing that. If you're having a room full of women sketch your cock, it better be hanging out of you. He just, yeah, he just, he, this guy just had a cock and balls. Yeah. Like, you know, he wasn't throwing a fucking meatloaf around like. You could sketch my cock on a post-it note. Aye, on a stamp. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this guy. But you know what I mean? He, he in no way looked like a guy who should be modeling nude. Mm. He just looked like a fucking fella. That's what self belief is, man. He's just standing there, we dick out. Women should be drawing my dick. That's what that is, you know? Yeah, for, for to get your money's worth out of that, you should just pull it out and, all, and these guys can't even hold a paintbrush. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> God. Who's going to be the first one to gobble this pipe? Who's going to be the first in this group to risk it all? Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. And then they all get together quietly and be like, if we just all suck it. <laughs> you know, it's like Epstein's Island. They have dirt on all of us. Yeah. Pinky promise. Yeah. I'd say there is. There's definitely. The boys are like. <laughs> <laughs> the boys are like, you know what you boys are like? And they're like fishing, having a wee can of beer. <laughs> and all the girls are in the gal going, ah, 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 your turn. What a job, though. I know. I remember going to like Vauxhall Comedy Club. <laughs> I remember. Sorry, I'll tell you this. I remember being in, in the Moy one night. Yeah. Just fucking <laughs> someone's birthday or something. I couldn't move in this pub. And I'm just standing there and just this big black dude walks past dressed like a fireman <laughs> down the back. And I was like, oh, there must be a party on down the back. <laughs> Imagine like if he didn't bring a change of clothes and just like he had to drive home with that on. I, let me tell you something. See if his opening line wasn't like, where the hose at? Dong out. Yeah. You know? It's heating up in here. Yeah. Oh, a bit of heat coming. Oh, getting warmer. You know? She's like, I'm getting married tomorrow. <laughs> One last hurrah. <laughs> Don't even know you. Random stripper. <laughs> I mean, there's definitely cases of people that have fucked on their Henner Stag day. Uh, you know? That's grim. Isn't it? Not faithful. That's grim. But if you're going to do it, that's probably the time to do it. Uh, I don't think so Right before the ring goes on And you're locked in I Take that fireman <laughs> cock I think In the middle be, of the moy I think it might be one of the worst times Yeah You know if I Too many witnesses Too many witnesses And then if the news got out and Because every fella's going I'm only getting married Because you want to mm. I'm down 30 grand Yeah Me and the boys are fishing And you're getting Piped to bits Yeah It's a big party <laughs> I, I like a wedding, you know. I, I really enjoy a wedding. Um, although I'm I'm gonna have to filter down who my true friends are when I move away, because I'm not flying back for all them weddings. Yeah. In fact, it's either best man or go fuck yourself. That's yeah. my yeah. That's my rule of thumb. And the, the thing is, like, you're, you'll not be missed. No, <laughs> you'll not be missed. You know that the actual one to one time you get with the person get married, next to nothing. Yeah. You know. You kind of walk in. Oh, thank you for coming. Good to see you. Don't see them all day, and then you're leaving. Thank you for coming. Yeah. You're like no problem. Yeah. Yeah. So that's me skint now. Do you like a wedding? No. No. I don't like any event. Yeah. <laughs> Weddings. Tomorrow. Land. Don't be getting married or dying. If you, and you yeah. want me to go. <laughs> no, not a chance. <laughs> the wake's gonna be good, crack though. Uh, you know. I'll go to your wake. Yeah, go to the wake. Sandwiches be good. The sa oh, the sandwiches, sandwiches. 
Yeah, they're going to do my wake. Yeah. Can you have like one of those curb enthusiasm fake deaths where we just pretend you're dead? Yeah. And go and have sandwiches and then say some nice words about you? Get the poor boys out. Yeah. You know? <laughs> the poor boys. <laughs> I'll do a speech at your funeral. Yeah, I'd like that. Yeah. No, tell a lie. I'll sing at your funeral. I would love that. Yeah. Actually, I'll probably just read like a rap song, like it's a poem. I think you might have low key pipes. Like, I think you might be a dark horse in the singing world. That death metal oh. crowd. Oh, yeah. You know, but I think if you really believed in it, uh, yeah, I don't you know. could hit some notes. But that's but that's not singing. What? Go like, <laughs> No, I know, but the fact that your vocal range has that in it, I think I could I, see you singing. I think I'm good at I think I can mimic my way. Yes. But if it was any way like me trying to be genuine, you'd be sick. Yeah. Yeah. Because you get that thing sincere. Yeah. Which is funny. Yeah. And I think I've I've took that on now as well. <laughs> but there's something specifically about singing because you'll see someone on like, you know, like fucking Sunday brunch or whatever we call that show where they're like, yeah, I'm fucking crazy and blah, blah, blah. And they're chatting. I've got a new album hat. And then they go to singing. Right. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, yeah depression you know like they have to they have to do the fake like somber immediately yeah i I don't like because of like you saying that and now me thinking about it anytime i see someone like sing now with a guitar and they get emotional mm -hmm. it's hard for me to like i'll watch an isis beheading video like this yeah and i'll watch like early stage x factor behind the sofa yeah like oh jeez don't be singing that yeah, but the guy has to be cute, though. That's where it is. That's where, you know, if you have a guy having an acoustic guitar... The, the guy getting mad. And he's... <laughs> he has to be cute. Or I'm not watching. No, Ice... <laughs> Ice is wouldn't be out of cutie. No. <laughs> no. We like the cuties. We spare the cuties. No, you watch anyone who got beheaded. Monter. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're better off with us. Cut that out, Nell. I feel bad about that immediately. No. Um, but, uh, bro, that's seat. I know, uh, sorry. But, uh, yeah, if you see, like, a, a hot, cute guy playing acoustic guitar and he gives it one of these the odd time. Yeah. People get into it. Yeah. But if you have some heap of shit up there doing that, people are like, this guy's fucking out of his mind. And it, it either seems fake or it's too genuine. Yeah. You know, like, you'll you'll hear a fucking Ben Hard song or something and he, 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 after it, you want to be like, are you, are you okay, man? Yeah. Are you all right? Do you speak to somebody, you know? I, no, I, confident vulnerability is good. Yeah. But if it is pre-orchestrated for a reaction from an audience, kind of gay. Speaking of dead folk, uh, shout out Matthew Perry. Uh, oh, why? <laughs> we've got some conspiracies about it, apparently. Max and Dave is going to tell us them. What are the conspiracies? Live from 4 John. <laughs> Is he actually is he actually on Mars or something? What's the crack? There's like really grim ones, but he, he kept posting about Batman like three or four days before he <laughs> But everything is related to Batman or drowning or he posted a picture of cranberries and said how does the water feel? Like the lead singer of the cranberries died in water. Oh fuck. I don't Bro, know. That would've what a riddle that is. That would have taken me fucking a lifetime to figure out. Yeah, that did sound like someone delivered from Batman villain the Riddler, you know? He posted Batman three so times. So he posted and... some cranberries and was like, how does the water feel? Yeah. Then, I don't like that now. But the Batman stuff, what's that about? He, he po uh, ended all of his posts with Matman. <laughs> so the Bat... What? There's a really grim conspiracy. But then... Go on. Uh, it's, his name's supposed to be on the list. The Epstein Island. List. Oh, right. <sighs> Oh. Deaths are weird these days because they're all like he drowned with a heart attack, and he's been sober for years and he's on pills in the pool. Yeah, you know it's hard. They're fucking keeping you. The conservative conservatives in America had a field day with his death because shortly before he had T-shirts that he'd made was like something about being vaccinated, ah, oh. or something like that. Oh God! Every time someone dies now, someone's like, hi. Hey. Hasn't been your day. That's the. That's a booster. <laughs> Death by boost. <laughs> Every concern, everybody says that when someone dies. Uh, yeah, but then you know people do go a bit too far. If you do, if you just do decades of cocaine, mm -hmm. oh bro, you'll die. Yeah, you, you will. know even if you quit, 
that old that old ticker's been put through the fucking <laughs> the ringer, hasn't it? Yeah. You know? That's there's plenty of people do that. Yeah. He was a sad deaf though, because he looked like a he seemed like a nice guy. But then as my mother says, you don't know anybody. <laughs> I swear to God, my ma, anytime I... Just coming out of your dad's, you know, funeral mass or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, father. You don't know anybody. You don't know any of these fucking c- I'm telling you. Any time. Check the flight log. Any time. <laughs> c- I'm telling you. Any time I meet someone... No one has a tan like that, no more. He's been on Little St. James and fucking smelled off. Any time I meet somebody who's like genuinely nice, I go home and say, I'm like, oh, fuck your man, he works in so and so's lovely character, isn't he? And she's like, you don't know fucking anybody. <laughs> your ma is just... Uh, yeah. She's right though. Like I remember, because Nicholas will have everyone down as lovely. <laughs> yeah. My brother Nicholas, who's a dentist, he had one guy come on one, one day for like, I think it was like a film or something. And anyway, the guy sat down and he was chatting away to Nicholas and being really open about his life and all this here. And then at the very end, Nicholas was like, here, thank you very much. And he goes, Nicholas goes, here, you're an absolute gentleman. I'll say it to you now. You're an absolute gentleman. And, you know, off you pop now. And then he went out to the reception. And he sprinted. He done a runner. He didn't pay for it. And then, of course, <laughs> he tells my ma this. And she goes, well, that's what you get. You've everyone down as lovely, you stupid whore. Uh, I bought you a pair of handcuffs and you can handcuff them to the seat till I get the credit card. Out. Not that fucking lovely. Uh, was, it, was he telling a full sob story as to, like, how bad his life was going? Or something? Yeah, it was just like, you know, being very open. Yeah. And like detailing his life up until this point. And Nicholas was hanging off every word. Hey, seen him coming. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a sob story. Two things you would say to my law, someone's nice or someone's good looking. Aye. Uh, yeah. You don't know anybody. I'll be like, geez, she's a lovely looking girl. And you think, like this here the next day. Fucking uh, throw a bucket of water over that one. <laughs> <laughs> See what she looks like. <laughs> One shot her in, she'll be back to fucking Gollum, ugly bitch. <laughs> but that applies to anybody. Yeah. You know? <laughs> like to see her without her masquerade fucking mask. <laughs> Here at this fucking eyes wide shut party. I do think you come to an age as a woman where you the feminist stuff dies and you just turn against all women. I think uh, maybe 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 it didn't die, maybe it just wasn't there for your mom. <sighs> No, nah, my mom was never a feminist. Uh, yeah. My mom's been fucked them bitches since day one. <laughs> it's a man's world. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? I know my place. You ugly bitches. You don't know anybody. <laughs> it is true, though. You don't know anybody. You don't. Like, you know, if you go to a restaurant and the waiter's really nice, and you're like, if you're in America especially, and you go, I should tip this person. Yeah. You don't know what the fuck they're like. Oh. You know, you just give them money to. They'd be out the back farting on your waffles. Yeah. Have a nice day. <laughs> last thing, America is you can't believe any of it because they're relying on that for money. But that's why we joke around. You know, like someone will be like, thank you, have a nice day. And we're like, trying to fuck? Yeah. <laughs> That'd be us in America all day. Yeah, someone. Have a wonderful day. <laughs> all right, what do you mean by that? The, the trying to fuck inside joke of the moment we have is very entertaining. You sent me a picture one time of a cappuccino that had a heart in it and then goes, trying to fuck. Now I thought it looked like a wee ass. That's why I sent it to you. It's cappuccino trying to fuck. <laughs> My friend John, who's a gay man, put up a very interesting Instagram story the other day where he had like a, a skeleton like hand on like a candle and it was like a real grip like that. Yeah. And he put above what I should call him. <laughs> He's gay. So you don't yeah. know anybody. Uh, you don't know. No, I knew he was gay. <laughs> <laughs> Are people there dropping cockpicks? <laughs> well, and and I've heard of people in London who will go onto the tube, and they'll wait till it's at a stop so they have data. Yeah, and, and then they'll just data reliant. <laughs> and then they'll, just, they'll go onto their phone and just take a picture of their router and then airdrop it into whoever's nearby in the vicinity. I've never got an airdrop cock, but I know people who have. Bold move. Oh, it, literally insane. I'd be stupid enough to like not rename my phone. Yeah. <laughs> Colin Geddes' iPhone 3 Tiny cockpick I wouldn't send me home I'd, I'd, just, I'd fuck it up, you know I'd be sitting there and be like doo, 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 doo. Yeah. <laughs> I'd, be, I'd be stupid enough to take it on the trip <laughs> On the trip Just Trying to get that That wide lens on Yeah 
your fucking jumper in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're wearing like fucking camouflage trousers or something. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone's just like, that you? Yeah. It's an insane move, though, as a, as a human being to go on and just airdrop a picture I, of your cock. I had a crotch gazer in London there. Staring at your dick? Aye. Uh, in the front row or what? No, she was across from me in the tube. The tube was packed. She was staring at your hog? Yeah. You're convinced of this? Well, you see, the, the reaction that her face did could be good or bad. Okay, do tell. So she got on and I was, you know, I don't know, I was wearing like green khaki pants, you know, and I was bunched in. So, you know, when you like, you sit down, the trousers are a bit bunched, then you have to keep your legs close together. Mm. So I did just have a, a, a right pile there at the front. Aye. You know what I mean? It was all, it was, I mean, it was like fucking, it was like mushed in there. It was like a pile. That was your dick? No. Oh. <laughs> you know, it was like a kitten in a jar. You know what I mean? It was fucking jammed in there. And we were like sitting on my lap, you know what I mean? Because my legs were together. Yeah. So it was just, you know, it was like, it was like super bad. He's like, it's like ball deck ball. Yeah. yeah. Like a division sign. It was like, <laughs> yeah, there's two folds in it. <laughs> You've been dicking you like folded up laundry? Yeah. But <laughs> she got on and she sat in front and she was eating some sort of, you know, I was eyeing that up. I was eyeing up her package. She had the. Which package? She was eating some. She had like a. It, All right. It, it had like. <laughs> It had like, no, no, no. This is like a fucking 50-year-old woman in a big coat. No, no test to be seen. Oh, I mean, like Andrew Ryan was sitting beside her foot. You know, he, you could tell he lived in London because he was like this. Yeah, yeah. And that uh, <laughs> she's eating some, you know, fucking like Polish writing on it or something, like a flapjack. Mm. And she's eating that. And I, you know, you're do, doing the tube thing. We were just looking in the air and all. And I looked around and she, I'll, I'll do it to the camera, right? The, the camera is my eyes. She went like this. She's eating the thing, and she's just looking at my at the fucking looter, and she just went. <laughs> Which I don't, you know what I mean? That could just be like, oh, my, nice bit of cock for me, or else she was going like, he has a woman's vagina, <laughs> <laughs> he has a camel toe. <laughs> but she literally just went. She went like, <laughs> like this here. Maybe, maybe Meanwhile, she's just like fun. listening to Billy Connolly's audiobook or something. You, you know, having a right laugh to yourself. <laughs> but just over the screeching of the tube, you know, like, the fuck? That's actually a bad tube etiquette by her, too. You're not supposed to stare at people in tubes. You're supposed to read the she adverts. She's staring at a tube, all right? <laughs> Just a perverted old woman. They are oh per- yeah, they are perverted. Oh yeah, there's too. no, there's no fucking eyes wide shut, hot chicks being don't, like. Mm. Well, do women reach like peak horniness like in their late forties or something like that? I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> Hang in there, kid. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> Maureen's birthday comes up here. She's like thirty four, and I went. <laughs> Hurry up. Age quicker, you know. <laughs> but then yours might drop at that stage, you know. Well, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> the, the two graphs go like. <laughs> <laughs> the two go. <laughs> you know. <laughs> no, I reckon I, I have a firm belief I'll be an old pervert. Yeah, you know. I can see that. You currently have the soul of an old pervert, Excuse just in a new model. Excuse. Yeah. Oh, you're a pervert. Like, so am I. It's grand. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Everyone in this room's a pervert. Yeah. You two fucking perverts are there, too. <laughs> At least we're open about it. Aye. Masquerading sneak- as nice boys. Two sneaky boys. Two dirty <laughs> hoors. Nah, I've seen that at a few sex parties. <laughs> nah, you'd be great at a sex party. Oh, I host them. <laughs> host them? <laughs> Guan Chale, anyone? <laughs> Is that you now? Huh? <laughs> no. <laughs> I thought this was a private side. Why is there nine cameras hooked up here? <laughs> you just with that. <laughs> you know that like that uh, posture you get when you're filming? <laughs> One Charlie. Now, if you video a sex party, it would look odd real, to be fair. Like, yeah. It would look like the Tomorrowland after. <laughs> <laughs> the Marland. The Marland. The Marland, man. 
Um, I would go for the story. Like I, I do find myself, you know, throwing myself out scenarios just for the sake of a story. Like I definitely would. I was, yeah. I was actually. You're gonna judge me for this, sir. But I was near handing over the car details the other day for uh, psychic reading. It was an Instagram suggested advert. They have better help for psychics, and it's just a load of like you know. And I just want, I just wanted to chat to one of them and see what would come out of their mouth, what they talk about, you know. And also, it's like Zoom psychic. Some doll doing a tire card reading in her gaff, and you can. This is the age we live in now. You can go on a website and immediately call them. You're a fucking <laughs> idiot. Every time, every time you're like, I'm, I'm, I'm saving a move in New York, and all, there's another ludicrous I thing. Didn't, I, I didn't, didn't, I, I two, didn't buy it. Two hundred ding, a fucking psychopath. <laughs> I didn't <laughs> buy it. I just wanted to see what was kind of kicking about there in the psychic realm. <laughs> you know, yeah, I bet psychic realm can't even get the connection right. <laughs> can you, hey, me? Can you, uh, get to die? You just hear wee words <laughs> as the signal breaks up. Got death. Try four. <laughs> what? Give my two hundred pound back. And then she gets the names. Sorry, is this Aaron? Sorry, I've got the wrong. Sorry, <laughs> the wrong prediction. Hold on. That's my two o'clock. Sorry. Hold on. What's your name again, Aaron? <laughs> I'm just assuming she's from here. Uh, What's your name again, Aaron? Hold on. <laughs> Be a fucking nightmare. Have you? Do you know anyone who's been the one? No. Like ever. Only you. No. And your mental family. There's more up in the one. No. 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 Quit. That. Sorry. Uh, she she would though. She she would be all into that. She's yeah. been to some weird shit. Like what? Reiki and fucking, you know, all that fucking Chinese science, all them things. I think Reiki was like she came back from a Chinese like a what do you call it? Eastern medicine type witch. Yes. With just like little tubs of herbs, that were stinking. What were they for? Some sort of well-being. But she, she did go through a time where she was just burning shit in the house. You know, she's like, oh, this is for good fucking juju or whatever. And I was like, it smells like you smoke 10 fags in here. Was it incense? Something like that. Yeah, I think about it, incense. It wasn't incense, though. It, was, it looked like rolled up fibers with a band around it. And then she oh. lit it and fucked it all over the place. Sage or sage? It wasn't even sage, though, because I know what sage smells like. I think this was just pages. I think it was just rolled up newspaper. And this woman was like, this is for your... Lymphatic system it Smells like a wig in there Someone's burning the Irish news Yeah But then you know You burn half of it And then you have to hide The other half It's like Yeah It's like when you Pinch off a cigarette Put, yeah. it, put it in your pocket All the wee spiritual crumbs The bottom of it <laughs> Yeah <laughs> I just can't take anything Seriously though I couldn't I couldn't sit through Any of that shit No I know I've, I've had two In real life therapy Type sessions And both times I was completely Fucking ADHD'd By the environment Yeah One guy Fat mess Life of <laughs> In worse shape than mine. Se second one, <laughs> private thing, some girl's house. And I was like, bro, fucking, you know what I mean? Do a bit of hoovering before you bring people in here and tell them about their lives. What the fuck? That's the most you thing I've ever heard of in my life is to go to a therapist and be like, I'm not listening to that boy, he's a heap of shit. <laughs> fuck. Curb. Fact, it's like, do you know where I'd like to meet a therapist? You know, like, you know, like fucking Wolf of Wall Street style on a yacht? Mm. And he fucking kicks back with the Italian sunglasses on. He's like, let me tell you some information about how to live your life. I'd be like, fucking notebook out. Yeah. This guy was just burping Fanta all over me. <laughs> <laughs> Telling me uh, jobs are shit. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, thanks, man. Straight under a fucking Ulster bus. Jobs are shit. Yeah. No, I'd love to, I don't know. I'd love to, I'd love to see you in that environment. It's private. Yeah, it is. We gotta get out of here soon. Did you watch the fair. Did you watch the Fury fight? I did. Speaking of heaps of shit. No, as a non, you know, I know fuck all about boxing. Yeah. But in my, you know, I was sort of boiling it down to the very basics, which is he got knocked in his hoop and won. Mm -hmm. And that don't make sense to me. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I I get it if you're saying the other guys that technically or Fury is technically a better boxer. Well, no shit, he's a boxer. Mm. The other guy is not. It seemed rigged to me. I smelled rig. <laughs> I don't think. I, it's hot, I don't think it was rigged. No. Mm -hmm. Rigged high. Oh, the the result. Aye. Maybe. Maybe that. But they do that anyway. Like they favor. You really have to take. You know, like take the belt off the champion. 
Yes. Do you know what I mean? Like, they were sort of favoured. But it was a mess. Like, it was shy. I think he was expecting Ngannou to... Don't be sick, man. <laughs> he was expecting Ngannou to... Just a lot of a rigged box to just, to just come out and start swinging. And he didn't. He just waited. Yeah. And then was able to, like, pick him off. Yeah. But I just don't like the fucking... The song and dance. Like, it's a massive pay-per-view, massive event for something that you know is going to be cack. Yeah. Anyway. Them Saudi boys, like, they just throw bands at whatever. It doesn't matter. Oh, they do. They have brought so many WWE wrestlers out of retirement for one more match. Yeah, because the guy's getting 100 billion. Yeah. They're like, no, they're retired. And they're like, well, it doesn't matter. We're going to get them back for one last match. Oh, yeah. Do you see Vince McMahon? Yeah. What's the crack with him? He's he's no longer in creative control of World Wrestling Entertainment. But did you see the video of him at that event? He was at that fight? No. Oh, man, the whole community is concerned about him. Why? They were just like, geez, when events get so old. That's just that's just life, man. He had a walking stick. He was half bent oh, over. Oh Jesus! Don't be telling me. The that. Undertaker was like, "Fucking, <laughs> you're right, lad." You know, he was concerned. <laughs> Has there only ever been one Undertaker? Yes. Fuck, he looks well, doesn't he? Well, there was a, there was a there was a storyline where they did like a fake Undertaker, but you know the Underfaker, Underfaker. But this is yeah, he's the he's the legit guy. Really? Aye. Uh, Even like Hulk Hogan days. Was there not like an Undertaker? That was a storyline that a fake Undertaker, but the guy who started out is the man you see before you today. Damn. I thought Damn. there was a t- two for a while or something. Yeah. Kane, maybe you're hanging on. <sighs> his brother. His bro. Who was involved in a wild house fire. And the scar and he had to wear a mask. Yeah. The big red machine. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally his wrestling gimmick. Jesus Christ. The big red machine Kane. Did you watch did you see that fight live? They they played they did a fucking Kevin Hart in Dublin where they played his intro song and just, he didn't appear. Yeah. And then they slowed the song down. Started from the bottom, now we're here. And then the guy was like, he's not coming out. And he's like, start from the bottom, now we're here. And they chopped and screwed it. <laughs> and then eventually he just had to be like, go from the start. Yeah. Now there was, they did a big thing too. There was like a hundred celebrities or something. They took a picture of all of them outside the front of the arena. Yeah. Cristiano Ronaldo was there. Ronaldo. McGregor was there. McMahon was there. Oh, the- I wonder did McGregor get any special treatment because you're not allowed to drink in there. Mm. You're not allowed to drink at all. I'd say he was having a few offens. Having a few nose beers. Aye. Aye, oh, You can't do cocaine inside of Arabia, obviously, no. I doubt it very yeah. much. If you can't drink a beer, I doubt you'd be able to take a big old line. I think the head would be lopped off you fairly quick if Aye. you were caught doing coke. Yeah. I saw a thing in Saudi Arabia where a guy had accidentally killed in a hit, in a traffic accident the son of one of these like sheik type fellas uh-huh. and they, the, his whole family turned out up at the, the father of the, de- the dead son's family and they're out the front fucking apologising and fucking giving them gifts and blah 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 and I was reading this story and then they were like yeah the, the, the guy turned up at the house to apologise about this it was an accidental crash like and they were like but yeah but you know 10 days later he beheaded him anyway god damn that's Kyle. That's Kyle. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like that bullshit. Uh, you got to get it out of your system. You know what I mean? Someone, a beheading? Someone kills your Never son. Never had a notion. He's like, let him apologize, but here. See you in a fortnight. Aye. Uh, take that head clean off you. That's Kyle. That's Kyle. Shaking the man's hand at the wake and then taking the head off him the following week. Uh, you do the same yourself. Yeah. You know? Kill a man. <laughs> Have you killed your son? Well, I, I, you know, I don't know what it's like to... Have a son. I'm sure I'd love it. And I'd probably I'd probably be quite angry if someone killed him. Yeah. So maybe I would take that out of some bastard. <laughs> <laughs> See, you're talking yourself right now. Yeah, you know, I say, you know what? Yeah, he's getting furious. Fuck him with my son? I'm gonna buy a buy him a machete right now. <laughs> just to have it. Aye. You know? Does anybody use a machete just to cut vegetables? Ah, if you were, you know, if you were in like, f- you know, fucking the Philippines or something, some guy's Aye. opening a coconut for you. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, yeah. Yeah. Has a purpose there. Yeah. Not on a bus in London when they take it off a 14 year old. Yeah. You ever see those videos? Yes. Yeah, like, well, what the fuck are you doing with a sword? Yeah, it's mental. You're, you're at a JD? Well, admin, too. You know? Oh, yeah, you can barely walk. Yeah. Get a gun. Put it in the rucksack. <laughs> Get a gun. Way hand there. Maybe Americans are on us on. Aye. Deficient. Yeah. If anything. I may buy a gun when I move out there. Yeah. No, actually, you can't. New York's pretty strict about that. You can't even decide on a camera before you leave, but. No. Or a psychic. This guy shoot himself in the leg, hundred percent vaccine. Yes. Yeah. Oh, first, well. first day. I don't know, bro. 
Me even that AR fifteen. There's no. It was like a duck to water. No, we're not going AR fifteen. Why? Because like like the amount of times you leave like headphones in my car and all, you like you'd be a fucking disaster. You'd be going back into a Starbucks. Did he? <laughs> Did you see an AR fifteen? Sorry to bully. Is there an AR fifteen? I was sitting over here. Did you see it? And they're like, oh, you know, you left it in the shitter. Oh fuck. Now you can't put. Mm. No. I don't see a gun in my future, to be honest with you. No, I don't see it either. Would you buy one of you? Oh, yeah, I'd have loads. Yeah. I'd be big end it. You'd have a few? Big end the guns. I had a friend in LA. I had a full fucking underneath his sofa, a full Call of Duty DLC pack just mm. sitting underneath it. Yeah? Like five guns. Were well, you going to be the one guy that doesn't have one? Yeah, but under the sofa? That's not comfy. Surely you're sitting in that and poking you in the arse then? You know? Who knows? Who knows? Put it in the garage or something, I guess. Easy access. No. Uh, you laying, <laughs> laying on the side watching a rom com. Yeah. Some you hear an island. Someone bursts in. You jump up, pins and needles in your leg. Yeah. Ah, fuck. I would. I think I. You know, in the in the, in the absolute height of it. You know, where the fight or flight kicks in. I'd get a real action movie of it. Do a forward roll. Grab the gun. <laughs> I don't think so. I would. I'd do a forward roll. I don't think so. You probably go. Oh, I'm fucking lift the thing up. Oh, blast one through the roof. No uh, fucking And then I'd fire the gun. Fucking <laughs> yeah! yeah! <laughs> okay. I've seen a lot of I've seen three of these in the last couple of days. You know, people talk about equality, mm. right? Yes. I've seen three videos where they show a <laughs> show a video of the garbage down syndrome. And then they'll show the comments of people being like, Here, cake is cake. Now, I, you know, no, like, you know, you know, well, you, you've your weekend sorted now. Yeah. Because I'd, I'd cancel smuck. your plan. But I'm just saying, you know, people are like, cake you know, is cake. Disability awareness and, you know, equality and all this here bullshit. And you're like, this is where it got you. Yeah. Guys going, oh, I'd smash the life out of her. Yeah. Should, should a girl plan ten? Because people will show the video and then they'll, you know, they'll screenshot it and scroll up the comments. And the guy's like, doesn't matter the bakery, cake is cake or something. Some guy goes, oh, she's a, she's an absolute relf. <laughs> and I've, I don't know why I'm, I mean, I've seen three of these videos in the last. That's where the, that's where the internet's got to. The things you're seeing about, you're seeing videos like that. Why is that in your timeline? I, why is any of it on my timeline? <laughs> why am I watching Saudis? I'm getting, get, I'm, getting, getting I'm, I'm getting sick because you're getting Down syndrome swimsuit models. Yeah. <laughs> We need to factory reset both our phones. Horses for courses? Yeah, I'm getting a knock you. <laughs> Anybody working car for a warehouse? I need to go back to the fucking... <laughs> Honestly, simpler times. Simpler times? I'm uh, my... Spent 68 pounds on a polyphonic ringtone. <laughs> you know? Play a snake. We've lost the run of ourselves this week. We'll play the folk site with a polyphonic uh, zombie nation, please. <laughs> Maestro, please. Give us a polyphonic zombie nation. Oh, play that. <laughs> <laughs> this would be me if, was, if I lived with chickens. <laughs> What's this? He goes full faff the clerk. <laughs> <laughs> And imagine that thrown in with a side of hands. <laughs> the Down syndrome girls with a fat hat. Now, what I will say, once that is fucked up and not right, yeah. I would absolutely love to do that. <laughs> I would love to take a chicken and just fuck yeah. up. <laughs> I don't think that guy's keeping chickens as pets. Yeah. <laughs> he went full scrum half with it. Was well, he trying to do a mukbang and the chicken fucking hijacked? Yeah. Get the guys. He's <laughs> not starting to have some down. grips. I tell you what, your dinner is scrap. <laughs> I, I'd chase after that chicken and get it into the air fryer. <laughs> Instead of eating grapes and rice. What is it? That is, Play it again. What is that? Japanese granola? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. What like is that like is that Filipino? That sort of Leave it there till sorry, the fucking sorry, he throws sorry. a chicken for the love of Christ. <laughs> What's he drinking? Screen wash? <laughs> WKD? <laughs> <laughs> what the, what's that shit? 
That's so funny. Food right in the corner. <laughs> he's so angry because he's he solved the problem with the swat away like he was good to go again and then he just was like no you know what I'm nah, like, fuck you you know what I'm <laughs> not your shit cut up <laughs> oh, fuck. by the way that is what having a three year old is like uh, yeah. just fucking foot in the cup and oh fucking smash you know you, you want to throw him off a mountain <laughs> <laughs> at least it'd be a pool fuck me <laughs> Oh, God. there's definitely some black market shit there, probably where you can like, you know, Ugh. you pay twenty fucking whatever, and you get to <laughs> fling a chicken. <laughs> it's therapeutic. Yeah. It's their version of a rage room. Yeah. Yeah, what do you call that shit? You know, they do it like once a year in Oma. It's like a big trad music. What's that called? Did they do that still? Jamboree or something. Jamboree. jamboree. Uh, that's such a jamboree activity. Oh, jamboree in the park. You yeah. want to fling a chicken? <laughs> twenty ding for a fling. <laughs> twenty ding a fling. You got to keep a chicken on yours. Take it over to Deirdre there, she'll put it in the, in the fryer for you. Whoever froze the chicken the furthest, we'll get the edit of this. <laughs> Tonight live, <laughs> man, it's chicken. We'd like to give a quick shout out to my partner for this for the chickens today. And if there's any spare chickens at the end, the, the wains can fling one for none. <laughs> and after that, we've uh, a pack here, and we've a uh, bingo card, and if you get the right number in the pack sheets, that you want a fucking Airbnb in Spain. <laughs> Coming up after. Uh, and after that, we'll be hosting Miss Trillick. <laughs> Division one, have you got your own teeth? How's the tooth? Still black. Oh fuck, it's dead. Uh, uh, smelly teeth. We'll get out of here, will we? We'll get the fuck out of here. Thank you so much, guys, for listening to the Bomb Squad podcast. It's so appreciated. We would encourage you, if you enjoy this sort of filth, yes. to get yourself onto patreon.com slash the Bomb Squad pod. So much bonus content. Ah, uh, bonus central. <coughs> bonus material. Live podcasts. I'm going to rift in this next Go. one. Go. No, I, I, I wasted it. You swallowed it? It was an empty. <laughs> it was a blank. Guys, get over to the Patreon. There's so much fun stuff on there. There's 33 episodes now. 33 episodes of bonus content. Shocking. You never get through it. You never get through it. You even finished it. It's a buffet. Anyway, guys, see you next week. And, uh, we love you dearly. Look after yourselves. Wow. <laughs> Round the button. Blimey. Wild times. There's a lot of Down syndrome girls though. <laughs> <laughs> cake is cake. I nearly fuck up. Drop, drop, drop.